Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And it's gonna be a busy day today. Doug got up so early this morning and he's out working even before breakfast and he is getting ready. We're trying to put up a lot of wood because do you realize in four weeks the leaves are gonna start changing? So winter is approaching, so we need to be ready for that. Have a lot of wood put up. And he's busy putting the chinking between the logs in our other building that we're building next to the cabin. So I thought I'd kind of put together quickly, and I love this recipe. It's a, um, a muffin that I'm going to make, and it's made from the oldest grain. We want to call it an ancient grain. It's been cultivated over 5,000 years, and you might even say it's the, the bread or the wheat of the Bible. So today we are going to be making einkorn muffins. And einkorn is an ancient grain, and it is the only grain that has never been hybridized and it is very nutrient dense. So when you look at it, there's a German word, Einkorn, it means one grain. So there is one grain attached to each stem as opposed to more modern grains where you're gonna have four of them attached to the stems. And so the benefit of that is it's easier to digest because you're gonna get 30% more protein from this grain and it's 30% less starch. So it does help you to be able to digest it better. And it has 50% less phytic acid, which causes irritation in our digestive tract. So it's something that is really digestible and easy to tolerate. So some of us who have maybe gluten and sensitivities, like I do, I tolerate this very well and I can eat it and it doesn't bloat me. So, you know, if you have celiac disease or something a little bit more extreme, that would be something that you probably may not want to do and try this type of grain because it does have a little gluten in it. But it's much different than our modern grain since this has not been hybridized. This is a simple, easy recipe, so let's get going. It's very quick. I like to just throw it together in the morning and then save it for later. So all you're going to need is two eggs, good farm fresh eggs. And then you're going to need about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. And so if you guys aren't making your extracts, you should be because it's very good for your budget and it's simple. I did a video on making lots of different extracts and vanilla extract definitely is an easy one to do. The next thing you're going to need is milk, yogurt, or I'm going to give you a little hack. You're going to need about a half a cup of whole milk. Or, this is what I do a lot, if I don't have milk, I use a little bit of sour cream. I might put like a tablespoon or so of sour cream and mix water in it, and that'll be my alternative to milk. Or you could use um, some yogurt. So either way, just as long as you want that fat in there. And then you're going to need eight tablespoons of grass-fed butter or ghee. So I make ghee. I like ghee. I use a lot of ghee. So you're going to go ahead and use either one that you like. And if you guys don't know how to make ghee, I've done some videos on that too. So definitely you should be doing it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know that saying, butter makes it better. And the great thing about the ghee, since it's just the pure butter oil, it's a great conditioner for your hands and your skin. <laughs> All right, and the last thing you're gonna need for my wet ingredients is about a half a cup of maple syrup. And I'm gonna mix it all together. Now it's time to add my dry ingredients. So you're gonna need a cup and a half of the einkorn flour. And you want the all-purpose flour. Now if you do add the, and you use einkorn flour and it's the wheat, just cut back about a fourth of a cup so you don't need as much if you're using the wheat. So this is a cup and a half. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add about a fourth of a teaspoon of unrefined salt. And you guys know I love the real salt by Redmond. Well, we buy our salt in bulk. So if you guys aren't buying your salt, we buy our salt in bulk. So if you guys aren't buying your salt in, <laughs> I can't say it, it's a tongue twister. 
We buy our salt in bulk. So if you guys aren't buying your salt in bulk, you're missing out because that's how we use it. I just refuel, I can't talk. We buy our salt in bulk. So if you guys aren't buying your salt in bulk, you're missing out because you're saving so much money. So we um, definitely do it. I just refill my containers and then that way I always have salt. We have links below. The next thing I need is baking soda and baking powder. You're gonna put both of these in this recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right. I'm going to mix this all up really good. And now let me talk a little bit about einkorn flour. It's GMO free. No GMOs in the einkorn. And it is nutrient dense. Loaded in lots of vitamins and minerals. I was explaining earlier, 30% more protein in this. There's iron and manganese. Now manganese is really good for your skin elasticity. It's great for your hair. So if you're having problems with your hair, it's good for that too. And you're getting lots of wonderful vitamins that the, the hybridized type wheats that you're not getting. Even, you know, you hear about, a lot about that wheat belly. People get migraines from eating wheat. This is something in its like most natural form from thousands of years ago. So this is something that maybe if you're having problems with wheat, you might want to try. It's a beautiful color. Isn't it beautiful, the color? Grease your, your container that you're going to use to cook your muffins in. And I'm just going to fill them up. Well, I preheated my Camp Chef oven to about 350 degrees, so it's ready to go. So I'm gonna put this in. And it'll take about 20 minutes or so, just kind of check on them. And it's perfect timing for me because I hear Doug coming around the corner and I'm gonna help him unload some wood. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, you got 
gonna go. <laughs> if you'd like to adopt Louie, please send us an email. <laughs> we'll ship you off. Yeah, he's gonna be like Mario. He's gonna be a sweetie pie. Are you a sweetie baby? Doesn't take time at all, does it? Many hands make light work. Yep. And a few paws help too. Can we put it on top, like I do? Are you eating this other one or are you having the muffins? No, I'm eating the muffins. No, I'm not eating that other one. Okay. I was going to save it for, like, it's good to save. Okay. Awesome. Oh. One of the reasons why I like eating in the outdoor kitchen as well is because I can leave my hat on. We're not technically indoors. <laughs> oh, is that a good one? Meal fits for a king. That's right. And you know how I always tell you guys, you should have a live food with your meal. So we have some fresh tomatoes from the garden and mm -hmm. some of my sauerkraut. So we are going to get into breakfast. We got some wood already loaded. I've been doing some other things and trying to get the chinking done too. I don't know if she mentioned it. About four more weeks till the leaves start to turn and drop. So we really got to start paying attention. We've already transitioned in our garden over to what we're planting for the fall. So stay tuned for videos like that. Um, we're just enjoying some of our fresh produce and our ferments, and then we'll move on to our farm fresh eggs and this einkorn muffin. Einkorn mm, muffin. Isn't it beautiful? It's got a beautiful color. And mm. I will say that you notice a considerable difference when you eat um, regular flour or even wheat flour versus this, because sometimes I'll get a little groggy afterwards. 
when she makes it the other way and when she uses this I'm pretty much, you know, feeling good about it. Yeah, since it has 30% more protein, the glycemic index, you know, it doesn't go into your bloodstream so quickly. It's awesome. And it hasn't been hybridized or it's not GMO. So that's, right. that's awesome. Or bleached or any of that stuff. And it's nutrient dense. So hopefully you guys got some good tips from the video, wrote down the recipe, and we hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Mmm. Right off the bike. Good stuff.